Italy is located in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea in Southern Europe. Due to its central geographic location in Southern Europe and the Mediterranean, Italy has historically been home to many cultures. Hey people, we are back with another beautiful video. Today, we're going to explore Italy together. This video will show you some of the greatest cities you should experience in Italy. So please watch the video till the end. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to travel along with us to the most beautiful and interesting places in the world. Let's take a deep dive into Italy. First, we'll look at the destinations you must see. You might want to add this to your bucket list. Rome. It is defined as the most beautiful city in Italy. Rome is the top destination on the list for most tourists visiting Italy for its historical significance as the capital of most ancient Europe and its current status as one of the continent's most vibrant cities. The Colosseum, the Forum, the Pantheon, the Appian Way, and the Palatine Hill are the remains of its former splendor. And let's not forget the Vatican. Relax in the Borges Gardens, enjoy eating gelato on the Spanish steps, stroll through Trastevere's winding lanes, drink some of the most delicious cappuccinos in the cafes, enjoy shopping in the Via Veneto, and visit the beautiful Trevi Fountain, the biggest and most well-known fountain of Rome. You can learn more about the history and check out the other sites by taking an inside tour of one of the landmarks. Florence. Florence, the epicenter of the Italian Renaissance, occasionally resembles a massive art gallery. With its vast dome defying gravity, the Duomo, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, is an icon of world architecture. This is one of the world's finest collections of Renaissance art, along with its marble inlaid bell tower by Giotto and the octagonal baptistry with its unmatched bronze doors by Ghiberti. Most masterpieces adorn its churches and palaces, and half a dozen art museums are filled to the brim with paintings and sculptures. Visit the Boboli Gardens, the Ultrarno's artist studios, workshops, or Santa Croce's leather shops before consuming too much art in the Uffizi Gallery and Pitti Palace. Anyone who enjoys cooking will be excited to have the opportunity to learn how to prepare Italy's most well-known culinary creation, faultless pasta. There are numerous pastas and other culinary schools in Florence. They frequently include a guided tour of local markets and businesses. These classes are available throughout Italy. Venice. Who wouldn't fall in love with a city where the roads are water, the buses are boats, and the gondoliers' lilting songs fill the air? It's a magical city, and the town itself is what attracts tourists the most. The expansive Piazza San Marco, often known as St. Mark's Square, serves as the city center and is flanked by most of its key tourist destinations. The lofty Campanile Towers over the enormous Basilica of St. Mark and the Doge's Palace, both in Venice. One of the best things to do in Italy is to float along a canal in a gondola, which may be the most overused cliché of Venice. Tuscan Hill Towns this is such a beautiful place to explore. Stone towns in Tuscany that have Etruscan roots crown the region's uneven terrain. They are all perched atop hills, and several still have the castles and turrets that formerly protected their dominant locations. Given that each has distinctive architecture, artwork, personalities, and narratives, it is challenging to pick one over the others. San Gimignano, surrounded by the walls that are still mostly intact and brimming with towers, still resembles how it did during the Middle Ages, when it was a significant stop for pilgrims traveling to Rome. Before the Romans arrived, Volterra was an important Etruscan center, and the city still has remnants from both cultures. Arezzo's tourist attractions result from the numerous writers, artists, and architects that once resided there. Wald Cortona, like Volterra, was an Etruscan settlement that subsequently became Roman, but it also retains traces of its Florentine past. One of the oldest towns in Italy is Cortona. Tuscany is home to several of the top tourist destinations in Italy due to its hill town's proximity to the cities of Florence, Siena, Pisa, and Lucca. Milan. Milan is sometimes overlooked as a travel destination on its own, despite the fact that its airport serves as a significant entry point for travelers. 
That's unfortunate because Milan is one of the cities in Italy with the highest concentration of creative and architectural sites, making a visit essential for anybody interested in design, fashion, or shopping. The likes of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Verdi, Enrico Caruso, Toscanini, and fashion designer Giorgio Armani have called Milan their home and place of employment. The enormous cathedral known as Il Duomo in Milan is one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the entire world and the best example of flamboyant Gothic architecture. The most famous opera house in the world, La Scala, hangs on a monastery wall and the city is dotted with museums and palaces housing some of the finest works of art. A trip from the renowned Quadrilatero is something that no fashionista can resist. Still, we aren't done with the beautiful destinations here, but for now, we will continue with some excellent food you have to try yourself. Pizza. We know this isn't something new for you, but there is one more thing. The origin of pizza claims to be from Naples, and Pizza Margarita is the most famous pizza, which is undoubtedly created in this city. Even if we are all familiar with pizza, you should at least enjoy pizza from Naples. Just give it a try. While visiting Italy, you must have an authentic Neapolitan pizza, perhaps at Spacanopoli, without the enrichment of too many unnecessary ingredients. Spaghetti Carbonara Rome has become known as the capital of spaghetti, and carbonara has much to do with this, since it has become one of the nation's most renowned meals. It was created haphazardly using bacon, powdered egg yolk, milk, cream, and cheese, all foods that the allies who conquered Italy were armed with, and the creativity of a teenage cook from Bologna. They put them together as a pasta sauce while making a meal for American officers. The Focacea. Starting from Liguria, this modest concoction of wheat, water, yeast, and salt was given the finishing touch of Evo oil and conquered Italy and the rest of the world. The success of this preparation is mainly dependent on the quality of the gluten-rich flour, the extra virgin olive oil, and the manual dexterity of those who produce it. The minestrone. Vegetable minestrone has a thousand variations and is a dish that connects the nation from the far north to the far south. Until the 1970s, it was the centerpiece of Italian dinners and has helped many other recipes from local home traditions fade into obscurity. The variety of soups that our nation has to offer tickles the papilla of visitors from abroad, especially those coming from the north and from Eastern European countries, both of which are becoming increasingly common, who have ingrained the habit of eating soup with every meal. Frito Misto. Despite being shunned by the most upscale restaurants, lacking any actual roots in traditional cuisine, and lacking a codified recipe, mixed fried seafood has emerged over the past 50 years as one of the most noticeable dishes of Italian cuisine. There are friti misti in regional kitchens, such as in Piedmont, where the components with the most striking contrast are fried in clarified butter, such as liver and seminola, or sausage and apples, or in Rome, where fish and veggies are the main ingredients of traditional fried meals. Travelers never miss out on nightlife, right? Here is something about it. When choosing a place to enjoy, Italy's got the best option when you favor the club scene or prefer a relaxed wine bar where you can enjoy a bottle of Brunello and the fantastic company of a few friends. Italy's culture and nightlife at night are entirely distinct from those during the day. Every big city at night offers a distinctive nightlife experience that is unmatched at any place else on the globe. So forget your troubles, grab a big glass of wine, and head to a posh club in town to take advantage of everything Italy's vibrant nightlife offers with your closest friends and some upbeat music. Go grab your dream. We have come to an end for today's video. Please comment down below the most exciting thing you felt about Italy in the comment section. And also, don't forget to hit the like button.